don't count them out yet after being relegated. Enough talk, enough hype. Let's do this. Your first period is set to go. Puck is dropped. Let's get things going and find out if we can get a winner here. Handles the pass from the right side. Great defensive effort with the stick. And that slides right out to center ice. Grabs the puck. Now a quick pass to Rao. Grabs control of it at the point. Here's a blast. And he says no. Here's a short pass to Whiteman. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. And that's just wide of the net. I'm sure he'll want that one back. Well, he certainly will, James, but not a lot of... Oh, my goodness, it's stayed out. What a save. It was all but... He... Oh, what a chance here. A pass. Oh, my goodness, what a save there. And that skips out of the offensive end. Here we go, on man rush. On the doorstep, Alexander denied that one. Picked up along the boards by Whiteman. Ready to party, he's on the attack. Oh, big time use of physicality on that one. In order to dictate the tempo of the game right at the onset of it, you want to make your opponent think and hear you coming, and that's what he does with that first hit. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Ontario's got it in the defensive zone. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Oh, that... You always have those players who keep the play alive, and he's one of them. He just knows how to shift his weight, shield the puck, and manipulate his opponent to get it to the net. The goaltender outbattles him on this one, but it's a great effort. Chance to make a night. Puts away. He scores. Oh, wow, what a play. Well, he uses his speed to break away from his opponent and needs exactly what the goaltender is giving him to be able to convert. What a beautiful play. Well, he does a great job of exploiting the weakness of the coverage and he finds a way to break away from the pack. He's in on the breakaway, James. And what a battle it is. It's one that he wins and he drives the puck home. Ontario's won the draw in the neutral zone. Long pass across the ice. Detroit's got a hold of it against the wall. Here's a chance in front. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. Sends it quickly to Jackson. Slides it to Rao. Detroit's looking to break out of their own end. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. And the puck skips away after a nice defensive deflection. Plays the body into that play. All alone. Did I have a push away? Oh, he came up just there. Well, he really did. At any time that you're one-on-one, -on -one, you got to beat the shooter, and that's exactly what he does. Here in the later stages of this period, Ontario's up one zip. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? Ready to party. He's got control of the puck. Takes it across the blue line. Quick pass to Whiteman. And nearing the final 60 seconds of this opening stanza. He's got a step. And that's broken up with a great defensive effort there. Well, that's what you call backtracking with a purpose, James. He thought that he was alone and in the clear. The opportunity was taken away. Wagner's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Moments away from the face-off. Let's get back to the action. That'll do it for period number one. We'll drop the puck on the second period in just moments.
sheet of ice. Period two is set to go. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up through the first 20 minutes? Ontario is playing real well, and they need to continue to push the pace and continue on from that first period where they established a one-goal lead and they had majority of shots on net. Takes the shot. Too much congestion in front. Ontario's one-on-one -on -one with the goaltender. Oh, denies him on the play. Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to it. Here we go, two-on-one. Stops and pops and explores his options. Ontario's got the puck. Moves it. It's a two-on-one. Feeds it over. And he's going to hold up and look for options. Trying to shake the defender. He's in the clear. But he can't pull the trigger on the play. Well, because he skated himself into no man's land. Ran out of real estate. He might have a step here. What happened there? It looks to me like he couldn't make up his mind what he wanted to do, and in the interim, he ran out of space. Lee's lugging the puck. Right away! Oh, beautiful save of the play! And you gotta love these one-on-one -on -one battles. In particular, the goaltender is so aggressive, tracks the puck and makes the save. Broken up with a little physicality. Sends it out Ontario's dialed in here tonight, now up by two in this second period. Well, sometimes you can see and you can feel the energy of a team, and that's exactly what's happening right throughout the lineup right now. Goaltending all the way down the ice into the offensive zone. I mean, they have just put on the clinic in terms of their shots. They're finding the way to get pucks through the net, and to be truthful, I'm surprised they only have two. Gets a hold of the puck here at his own end. And now it's grabbed by Whiteman. I don't think anybody was hanging onto the puck after that hit. There's the collision, and look who's hit again. Uh, he's been a punching bag tonight, James. He's going to have to find a way to get out of the way. Here's a chance for the middle. He scores! What a goal! I just love watching the puck on his stick, James. It's like it's on his string. He just knows exactly where he's going to move his opponent to, and then he finds his way to the net. Ready to party. He's looked way more engaged since the start of this period, Cheryl, and now they're starting to get some of the rewards. Well, you can certainly feel the energy. There's two trains of thought here. There's a physical side and there's the emotional side of the game. Both are connected for them right now. Play is blown dead with the offside. Ontario's message going into this one when we talked to them at the morning skate was to get a lot of pucks on net. They've done just that, and they lead as a result. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. And he turned that aside as we continue play here. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well, and this time he gets in front of Ontario's up for good reason. They have been the more complete team offensively, which is why they lead late in the second. And with the two centers tangle up, the winger skates away with it. Oh, pokes it away. Guts the move, but it pays off. Picks up the puck in his own end. Dropped him in the open ice. Detroit's got the puck along the wall. Ready to parties across the blue line. Quick pass across to Rao. Second frame almost done. Well inside a minute now. Moves across the point. Hammers it on net. And they got caught up in traffic and hits a stick. Chase in front. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. There it is. That's a wrap for period number two. Both teams will get a chance to get a little breather here, and we'll come back. Third period action next.
teams seem fresh after that second intermission. We're ready to drop the puck on period number three. All right, the puck is dropped on the third and final frame. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? Detroit's had a strong 40 minutes of play, but it can be frustrating when you've been dominating possession and you look up at the scoreboard and you're trailing in the third period. You've got to stay the course, continue to dominate that possession time, but figure out ways to get to the interior. Not just hang out, be influenced to the outside. You've got to get inside and make it count. Good hit to pump him off the puck. He looks deep to Rao. another pressure cooker situation looking to make something happen along the boards here's a pass in front he scores what an opportunity and delivers Detroit's got some fight in them tonight. Here we go, all tied up in the third. Yeah, these games are great, James, especially when they go back and forth right into the third period. But finally, they're taking advantage of the puck possession that they've had and cashing in on some opportunities. Scores! What a finish in all alone! Wow, it isn't easy to score against these tenders, in particular in these one-on-one -on -one battles. But he fakes and is able to bury it in the back of the net. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Detroit's been the better looking team over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on this one goal lead. From the right wing, he moves into the middle. Comes up with the stop. Ontario's got it now. Slides it back to the blue line. Oh, that's using the body there on the block. Sends it in front. And that doesn't connect. Trying to shake loose. What a score. What a finish. From that puck's on his stick, James, you know that he's a magician and he can deke his way to the net like he does just there. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. Ontario's won the draw and they take possession here in the open ice. Makes the save and putting out the fire in front. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Moves it quickly over to Lee. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. I really like this age. Scores! And that's three. It's a hat trick here on the road. Well, old hat for him in a way because it's a business-like approach as he's on the road. He just says, yeah, just bring it. I mean, get the hattie to boot. Detroit's playing almost like they want a day off here tomorrow, Cheryl. Yeah, I'd say so. And you always look forward to a day off. And this coaching staff has got to be impressed with this team tonight. You know, the ability to get the puck to net, driving the pace of play, and just having really great habits, consistent effort right through the game. Great save by the goaltender who was in the right place at the right time. A chance for the rush here. Walked in front. What a play up along the wall by Rao. Centering pass, and it carries off a twig in front of the net. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Whiteman's got it against the boards. Takes the save. Works it across to Lee. Oh, a true warrior to block that. Poked away. Sends it over to Rao. Trying to gain a step. Sending a message that to Not going to roll over in this one. For the two-goal deficit, they have to have desperation and urgency. They'll need two players on the puck at all times. Retrieval to possess the puck is necessary. And he slides it quickly for Lee. Great reach with the poke check by Whiteman. 
Oh, this looks dangerous. Into the offensive zone. And he pulls the clock to the save to shut down the rush. Fires it. Oh, can't finish. Well, he can't finish, but a... look at this. And that rush is broken up at center ice. Sends the pass in front. What a chance, but they can't connect. Slides the puck. Oh, He's got a step. Flying out of the ice still. <laughs> Me too. They take possession as he locks him up off the face out. <laughs> Teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Puck's in the net, but the whistle sounds, blowing the play dead. And that brings an end to the third period. We are still tied, and that means overtime is looming in moments. Time. Moments away. It's sudden death overtime and the puck is dropped. Let's go. Rose looking to complete the hat trick. He's got two in the game. He's looking for his third. That's a great chance right there, James, but unable to convert or cash in. You gotta find a way to capitalize on those opportunities, especially when the game is tied. Incredible reflexes on the glove saved by Lehman. A critical draw here. Buck is dropped and we are back underway. Oh, great read! And we'll get a breather here with offside the call. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Receives the pass. Off a stick, and they can't connect. Ontario's got the puck. Slides it quickly to Rao. Into the corner of the attacking area. Back to the point it goes. Ontario's got it along the wall. Handles the puck. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Whiteman. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Oh, wow! What a save with the glove! A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Whiteman's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. And a strong effort on that play. Takes control of the puck. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Here's a shot. Stars. Much time. 
time for Spies to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. 